Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about jealousy for men. And the topic for this specific video is why victimization is a dead end. Victimizing. When you victimize yourself, you put yourself in a lowering position of power. Victimizing is like, oh, this is happening again. So you are complaining to your girlfriend or to your wife. You are whining. You are being a pussy. You are being a child. You are attacking her or you are blaming her. You know, you are aggressing her. You are trying to control her. You are demanding from her. All these patterns, absolutely all of them, are going to create dissonance in the field or the context of your relationship. All of them, none of those are going to create trust and connection with your lover, with your partner. So what you have to understand is that the profound goal of jealousy is not to create dissonance in your relationship. The reason why the jealousy pattern is there is to strengthen your couple. So if you imagine it's a little bit like having a sword, right? Having a weapon. And that weapon gets a little bit of, out of control and then you start chopping the heads of the people that you love. You know, you don't want to do that. You have this word and you have a weapon. You have the sets of jealousy weapons. Jealousy weapons are energetic emotions, mindsets, things that, ca that you can use in the battlefield of relationships, okay? So you take this word and then you, it starts spinning out of control. You know, this, these are the controlling patterns. These are the winning, the complaining, the blaming. And it's an ongoing broken record that keeps repeating itself in your head and negatively impacts on your girlfriend or relationship. So if you are complaining to your girlfriend or wife, you know, try it out. You never complain and then suddenly you start complaining. What's going to happen? She's going to be a oh, drama, problem, processing. It's exhausting. You enter into this kind of full-time job where sustaining and maintaining the relationship becomes really challenging. It becomes really hard. So you don't want to do that. The complaining patterns or the blaming or the victimizing patterns is something that you want to shift to a more empowering mindset. And you know that instinctively because you know that when uh, you are diving into these patterns, or victimizing or communicating from a, you know, powerless place with your girlfriend or your wife, it feels like shit. You know, like, oh, why am I doing this again? You know, you know internally that it doesn't work and still there is this, you know, addiction to keep on going back to that pattern. So what I invite you to do in these videos and in this course, it is really to develop new mindsets, new core mindsets, where you, we don't necessarily say, oh, jealousy, the bad thing is great monster, woo. No, we say, no, jealousy is great. It's a set of weapons. You just need to learn how to use them in an effective way so that it strengthens the relationship. So again, you know, like, instead of complaining, you can offer feedback and you can check in with your girlfriend or your wife. You can go like, hey, I feel challenged by something. Would you like me to help me with something in our relationship that I don't know how to navigate? See, you're inviting to co-creation. You're not saying, hey, don't ever do that again. You know, this is an attack. It's an aggression. How do you feel when I do that to you? If your girlfriend comes into your field and says, you fucking do that to me again. I will fucking kill you. <laughs> you know, it's like, what? You, you want this woman to have sex with you after that? She's going to feel threatened. She's going to feel disempowered. It's not going to work on the long term. If instead you're like, wow, yeah, I feel a bit threatened by something. I don't know what to do about it, but I'm cool. No, I'm fine. I know I'm, a, I'm an energy ninja. I know how to navigate these emotions, how to play with them, how to modify my mindset and my mind, you know, my energetic state at will. So this is what we are going to check. The first thing is identifying the core emotional jealousy patterns that really don't work. So we nail a few of them, right? Just remember that if you dive into complaining, whining, attacking, challenging. Spontaneous feedback out of nowhere. You're in the car and you are like going to some party somewhere and then you enter into processing mode, complaining about something. You enter into the spinning mode. It's not going to work. 
is going to create distance in your relationship and sabotage the desire that you have to actually be closer to that person. So we'll check some more positive responses in another video. I'll see you soon.